Today we're going to break down a powerful feature in custom scleral lens design, the AccuVault. I'll walk you through what the AccuVault is, when and why we use it, how we locate and measure for it, and how we program and manufacture it into a lens. So let's get into it. So first, the AccuVault refers to a customized tunneling elevation built into the haptic zone of a scleral lens. It's designed selectively to vault over anatomical anomalies on the sclera, areas where a standard haptic would normally cause impingement, edge lift, irritation, or just patient discomfort. Common examples would include a pinguecula, a glaucoma shunt, or a conjunctival bleb. These structures sit above the normal contour of the sclera, and they require us to design around them. Identifying the need for an AccuVault starts with a slit lamp. If the patient's currently wearing a scleral lens, you might see signs of mechanical interaction like localized redness, blanching, lens edge distortion. Uh, if the patient is new to scleral lens wear, you might notice elevated structures or irregularities during the slit lamp evaluation. That suggests the need for an AccuVault. For the most precise evaluation, we'll use a scleral profilometry to generate a 3D topographic map of the eye. This allows us to locate the exact radial meridian and dimension for the scleral anomaly. For example, rather than simply noting a nasal pinguecula on the right eye, we might be able to identify that the central radian of the elevation is located at 350 degrees with a width of approximately two and a half millimeters. You can do this at the slit lamp by rotating the beam until it aligns directly over the center of the anomaly. And this will give you the radial orientation, which you can then reference for programming. That level of precision is extremely helpful when designing an AccuVault that contours comfortably and effectively. Once you've identified the location, you'll need to determine the width and depth of the AccuVault. At the slit lamp, width can be estimated using a reticle or a scale, or by adjusting the beam height to match the width of the anomaly. Height is often based on clinical judgment, typically starting around 2 to 300 microns in lift. With scleral profilometry, you can measure both width and height directly, allowing for highly accurate and reproducible vaults. From here, we program the AccuVault into the design. At AccuLens, we can build an AccuVault at any radial location, and in most cases, the vault is going to start around 3 millimeters wide, about 300 microns deep, at the lens edge. Each vault is completely customizable, and we can incorporate up to two AccuVaults per lens. So you can have a temporal and a nasal vault if needed. These modifications are compatible with all our scleral lens platforms, including lenses with front surface toric correction, or multifocals or a combination of front surface toric multifocal scleral lens. The result is a lens that maintains proper central corneal vaulting, limbal clearance, while also contouring the sclera, even around elevated anatomical features. This leads to improved comfort, reduced redness, fewer issues with lens awareness, or scleral irritation. AccuVault is just one of the many customizations that makes scleral lenses such a versatile and powerful tool for managing complex ocular surfaces. If you're fitting a patient with scleral irregularities and seeing persistent edge irritation or decentration, an AccuVault might be the perfect solution. If you'd like to learn more, or if you want support programming a vault into your next AccuLens design, we're here to help. Thank you for watching, and as always, let's keep pushing for precision, comfort, clarity, and long-term ocular health in every fit.